Dan Booknook Noggin here with another graphic novel review. And I'm saying this is a graphic novel because this is another one shot from Marvel Comics. This is Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, and this collects single issues of the same titles, number one through five, written by Dennis Hopeless. Um, Scott Hepburn, Antonio Fabella, with Donnie Cates, George Shaw, and Matt Milla are um, a couple of the other people who worked on this title. Now, um, I don't recall the exact rating I gave the other Cosmic Ghost Rider books, but I know that I enjoyed them enough that it made me want to check out this one. Um, this one, most of this book, I would have to say the first four issues of this of this graphic novel I thought were just okay. They were pretty average. I thought they were a three out of five star rating. Um, of course, you know, we've got the Cosmic Ghost Rider who's back after his last dealings with Thanos. And this is basically his revenge. Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. So, we have a different villain this time. I forgot what his name is. He's not really that important. It's not like somebody who you've ever seen before. I feel like he was just made just for this volume. And we kind of learn a little bit more about who the Cosmic Ghost Rider is. Um, who this future Frank Castle is. Um, he's so much more, more than just the Punisher since he has like the powers of a Herald of Galactus and also being the Ghost Rider. So like, and he's lived for a lot longer than the Punisher. So yeah, um, it makes for a more interesting read. And I do have to say, there is a uh, cameo of a character named Cammy who is a young girl who she was in um, another storyline, which I cannot think off the top of my head what storyline she was from, but she was featured in a Guardians of Galaxy storyline, and or maybe it was Cosmic Ghost Rider, one of the earlier books. But yeah, she had like a brief cameo in that series, but she comes back as like a sidekick for Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, because she's pure of heart and innocent and all that. And yeah, it made for an interesting dynamic, that's about it. Um, but it was the very last issue, issue number five, that really sold me on rating this um, a four-star book for me. It was when um, Cosmic Ghost Rider decided to visit his wife's grave, and he was confronted by the Punisher of that current time period. Because Cosmic Ghost Rider can travel in time, and... All I'm going to say is Frank Castle Punisher asked Cosmic Ghost Rider. He kind of kind of lets him in on the know that he knows who he is. And he asks him one single question, which I'm not going to spoil for you if you have not read this. And Cosmic Ghost Rider's response to that and the way he reacts just totally sold me on a four-star rating for this book. Um, that Definitely that issue there kind of put me over the top on my three star rating like i said majority of this book was a three star but i really really enjoyed the final issue i felt like that was just the way that ended with the response that cosmic ghost rider gave to who he used to be versus who he becomes and i really i, I really thought that was a pretty cool little cool um take on the whole situation um of course as always yeah this is going to be a little short brief um review or observation my reaction to the book um i thought it was really well written the artwork was you know fantastic as always they had a great team working on this book um, i love the vibrant colors I thought that the new villain was kind of interesting, but he's not very memorable. And that's okay, because it's just suiting the story for what it is. And, you know, it's just a fun little story. It's not anything to be taken too seriously. But the final issue I did kind of think was a serious matter, because it was in reflection and all that. And I, I found that to be interesting. So, I mean, you may or may not want to check this one out. Um, I think that the Cosmic Ghost Rider is a fun little character, so feel free to check out this book. Um, 
Of course, as always, for you folks in the U.S., I will have a link to Amazon down below. Um, I'm going to look for a link on bookshop.org. I'm not, not always successful in finding links for bookshop.org. So sometimes I may say I'll try to find a link, and if there is no link be below, that's because there just wasn't one on bookshop.org. Um, of course, as always, I will leave my coffee link down below as well. If you could buy me a coffee or two, help support my channel. As I'm not receiving AdSense, I think even once I do hit the 1,000 subscriber mark and I do qualify for AdSense again, I think I will still continue to use the affiliate links and the coffee links. Because you know what? Every little bit helps, and especially since I'm doing this for free. Every little bit counts. So yeah, I appreciate everyone who purchases through the links or donates. And if you came here looking for comic book graphic novel reviews, please hit that subscriber button down below and hit that notification bell so you're well aware of when I upload again. This has been Dan. This has been the Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Till next time, stay healthy and be good to each other. Don't be an asshole, basically.